Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Share and Read. Today, I'll be doing my May ARC reading vlog. So as always, I have my laptop over here, so let's just get right into the books that I will potentially be reading for this vlog. So as you can probably tell, I actually skipped April just because I want to get a head start on the rest of the months in this year um i realized that even though i've been pretty good about reading the books on time i feel like by the time i actually post the videos like edit and post the videos they end up becoming mid to end of the month and i have some books in there that might have came out in the beginning of the month so i kind of want to start being able to read the books way in advance and have the videos edited and posted ideally like the first week or so of the month that is why i decided to just skip april altogether and just jump right into may so i have five books that i will potentially be reading well technically only two or three books but these are the five options that i have these are all net galley by the way i don't have any physical copies of the may arcs this time around but the first book that i'm really interested in reading is look at the titanic by stacy lee this is actually my most anticipated video so i'll link that somewhere above in case you check that out but this book basically follows the stories of these two Chinese descent survivors of the Titanic, but it is loosely inspired by the real accounts of the six survivors from the Titanic. Um, so I'm really intrigued by this story for sure because I've never heard of any Chinese descent survivors in the Titanic before, but it turns out that there are or there were. So I am definitely intrigued by this. So this is the first book that I will potentially be reading, but this is very high on my list. So I think the chance of me reading this book is actually very, very high. Then the next option is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joanne He. And it says over here that this is a sci-fi fantasy with mind-blowing twist. And that's kind of all I really know about this book. Then this next book is This Is For Tonight by Jessica Patrick. And this one says, When Andy attends a music festival with one goal in mind, capture an interview with a famous band so she can pay for college, she gets more than she bargained for. This already sounds super intriguing, so I'm very interested in this one. Then the next book over here is From Little Tokyo with Love by Sarah Kuhn. This is supposed to be a reinvention of the modern fairy tale in this intensely personal yet hilarious novel whose search for a storybook ending takes her to unexpected places in both her beloved LA neighborhood and her own guarded heart. I feel like this book sounds super cute, so I think there's a good chance of me reading this book as well. Then the last book that I potentially will be reading is In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. This one is about a pansexual blood mage reluctantly teams up with undead spirit to start a rebellion among the living and the dead. It is a dark YA fantasy. I don't know, but this cover is really, really stunning. So I don't know. I feel like right now I have... The historical fiction that i really want to read and i don't know if i want to go for contemporary next or a fantasy next but or even both who the heck knows guys but i definitely have a lot of really good options for may that i'm really interested in so yeah that's all i have to say for this very quick intro but i definitely have some solid choices this time around so by the time i update you guys next it will be after once i start reading one of these books hey guys so jumping in quickly to give us an update for my may arc reading vlog and that is luck of the titanic i have actually i have been struggling and holding off on updating you guys for this vlog for the past two three weeks or so mainly because i haven't been reading at all um i literally read maybe like six percent of this book and i don't know i am struggling like i started off super optimistically it was one of my most anticipated reads for the next few months or just the year in general but I don't know, like it is just not grabbing my attention. I am seriously struggling with this book right now. Um, I've only read 6% so I do want to still continue for a little bit and see like maybe things will pick up. But as of right now though, I'm struggling and that's why I've been hesitating on updating guys because I'm like I don't even have really an update to give you guys other than the fact that I've been struggling for weeks now um and just reading this book but i am trying to read it a little bit more so i don't know we'll see but um yeah next time i update you guys very quick update by the way hopefully i'll at least have some more reading done or at least an update in terms of like if i dnf it or something but six percent not much to update you guys on in terms of like the plot the characters like everything is just super like in introductory modes um I barely found out like who the characters are really. Uh, I barely found out what's going on. She's struggling to get into the Titanic right now. Whole issue with like her boarding process, everything. So yeah, there's really not much in terms of what I can update you guys because of just how limited I have actually read this book so far. But I will try a little bit more. Hopefully by the end of, 
I would say like I give it another week. If I don't make any more progress, I might have to DNF it. But I was so excited because I was so curious about the whole thing about like, you know, Chinese ascent characters who had survived the Titanic and kind of like their story because this book is basically inspired by that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll update you guys later. Okay guys, so I finally have an update with my first book that I read, which was a long time coming. I'm so glad I started this vlog like way early in advance because I figured, you know, I just knew that something was gonna happen and I was gonna jump off my reading stride, I suppose. But I finally managed to finish Look of the Titanic, which I ended up giving four stars. While this book started off quite slow for me, I actually really really enjoyed it so basically this book follows a woman called Valora Luck and she decides to board the Titanic in search of her brother uh, because they had been separated for some time and she wants to be with him now to see if there's an opportunity for them to go to America however she faces some obstacles one being the fact that she wasn't allowed on board so she had to sneak on board uh, because who she was supposed to be traveling with was actually um, the woman that she worked for and there was supposed to be first class passengers but because of something happening to the woman that she worked for she was actually going by herself and they were like you have to come with you know whoever you're supposed to come with like this ticket is invalid only for you part because she is Chinese or half Chinese and so the book just kind of follows her stowing away onto the Titanic, searching for her brother. And the other obstacle that happened was that her brother actually does not want to go to America and nor does he want to continue on with their acrobatic act. So they grew up as acrobats in their family. It's like a family thing. And while he has moved on to do other things, she has not. Like she has always wanted to go return to be an acrobat, be on stage, etc. So she thought that would be a great opportunity for them to go to America and join this Circus. So now basically the rest of the book just follows her trying to convince her brother in multiple different ways to come with her, uh, have a chance to be with her and go to America and continue on with their acrobatic acts. So that is what this book's premise is about and of course as we all know what happened to Titanic and so it was such a fascinating read to kind of find out about these Chinese passengers because it wasn't just her and her brother who were the only Chinese passengers it was her and her brother and a few other Chinese individuals and just how they were treated in that time period was just so like what the fuck um and not only that but just how when Titanic was sinking how everyone was treating them and how everyone was treating just other passengers and it was just like crazy and insane i would definitely say that i in a way expected the sinking of the titanic to be a little bit more simply because it's such a huge part of the story of titanic in this book though it actually was not that much i would say it was like the last i don't know like 10 percent of the book maybe 15 percent of the book and then that's when like everything was happening and they're like scrambling and trying to survive etc so for most of the book was actually about her and her brother and trying to be in the circus and her trying to devise ways to stay on board and all these other like disguises and everything so as i thought to say for this book while it did start off quite slow for me um it definitely picked up after they actually met up um, i think like in the beginning it was just kind of slow like slow start for sure but anyways that's all to say for this book and i will actually have to pick my next book now um i haven't decided which one it is but i have a feeling it's going to be a contemporary read just because i feel like i want something kind of like lighthearted right now and this was definitely not that lighthearted i mean it was but it was also in the historical setting and people were dying because it was a titanic so yeah, there were definitely some like heartbreaking scenes i definitely didn't expect the ending by the way the ending was like <sighs> i was like not here for this i was like as soon as it ended i was about to cry because i was like <laughs> i was so shocked by how it ended um but yeah that's all to say without any spoilers so i will continue on with my next book and then i will check back in later hey guys so just wanted to jump in quickly and finish out the vlog um, I actually finished this book a few days ago, but I was just busy with work and everything. It was on the weekday, so now it is Saturday, so I figured I would just jump in quickly and finish this up because I do want to have this video 
edited and up on Monday. So yeah, anyways, let's just talk about the last book that I read for this vlog and that is From Little Tokyo with Love by Sarah Kuhn. This was so freaking adorable. I gave this book four stars. So the book basically follows a girl who is essentially an orphan. She's been living at her cousin and her aunt's house for her entire life. Um, she grew up with no mother. She didn't know who her dad is. Um, her mother died at childbirth, she was told. And so she has grown up her entire life kind of not really like belonging because her father whoever her father is actually is white so she's of mixed heritage so she's half japanese and half white and she lives in little tokyo with her very japanese traditional family and so she grew up just kind of thinking she's just very different from everyone she thinks of her as a monster in a way just because she has this like intense anger that always erupts whenever something doesn't go her way she calls it her kaiju anger and kaiju means like monster in japanese if I remember correctly and so she has always felt a little bit out of place doesn't feel like she really belongs and then one day she is at Nikkei week which is this Japanese week where people in little Tokyo come together they celebrate all things Japanese there's a lot of traditional things going on all pertaining to Japanese culture and so she's there and she ends up locking eyes with the grand marshal I believe that's like the role that they have for someone it's usually of someone of importance and this year little tokyo chose someone called grace kimura who is actually america's like rom-com princess and like she's an actress very famous and she ends up locking eyes with her and after that chaos ensues she ends up going on this journey to find out you know like what truly happened who exactly is grace kimura and how is she related to her and Along the entire journey that she goes through, she ends up also meeting a guy called Henry, and he is this up-and-coming actor, uh, known for his like dancing, graceful acting skills, everything. And of course, there's like, a little romance in there. While she's also just traveling and figuring out and finding her storybook ending. So that's kind of what this book is about. It is so freaking cute. I think what really stood out to me was just the discussion about her and her anger issues and her management for it um she's been struggling with that, that her entire life and i thought it was just really refreshing to talk about a heroine with her anger issues in a YA book which i feel like is not discussed very often um i feel like we all struggle with anger management problems sometimes because you know people just frustrate us with real life all that stuff and i feel like this representation was done really well at least from my perspective i also felt like i really just liked the whole japanese week and the traditions that were included in this book i also just liked about how this book just talks about your sense of belonging and how she's trying to find a place where she belongs and discussing about you know her culture but also in america but also the fact that she's biracial i felt like the whole message was really well done here so overall like i just really enjoyed this book it was so freaking adorable i felt like there were just so many adorable moments in this book and it was also kind of like a fairy tale ending just because of the fact that her and her cousins always talked about cinderella and just having like disney princess endings and the fact that you know grace kimura is you know america's like most princess actress ever and so like not in like her personality but just like the way how she like all the characters she portrays are just like rom-com fairy tale princess like um but yeah anyways i just enjoy this book highly recommend it it's so adorable so if you're looking for like a really fluffy read that has some great messages in it i definitely recommend this one so anyways let's just wrap up this video very quickly so i read two books during this vlog i read from little tokyo with love which i gave four stars and then i read luck of the titanic which which I gave four stars. So overall, I am really pleased with the books I read. I read two books and I gave them both four stars. So overall, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but yeah, anyways, as I say for this video, let me know down below which books are you excited for that's coming out in May. Have you read any of these authors' previous works before? Let me know down below. But as always, if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you like to see more content of me, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!